Chapter 13. Conclusion. Rayo was right. Freedom does indeed need more full-time professionals, not collective movement preachers seeking a coterie of followers, but explorers, inventors, developers of liberated lifeways. Undoubtedly, numerous folks are truly seeking a way out of the statist servile society, but they don't see any options outside of political crusading or apathy. Many are being emotionally and physically broken down by the nine to five grind, the daily pressures of the servile society, and the recognition of how truly unfree they really are. That being the case, our task as Vanuans now becomes self-liberation and marketing in that order. Reason being, if we are ever going to see an alternative economy, a sovereign free port, a new libertarian country, or whatever other grandiose strategies come into fruition, we need to first break people free from the servile society and into a lifestyle change of their choosing. Additionally, if we are ever going to see the abolition of the state, we must do our damnedest to eliminate the market demand for it. A great way to do that is by showing individuals that there are other options and to help them in the process as much as possible. Some entrepreneurs may even be able to monetize such a venture in the form of consulting or the development of tools or services to ease the transition from the first realm to the second realm. Rayo's first book, Vanu, The Search for Personal Freedom, was initially published in 1983. 35 plus years later, many of these strategies are just as practical now as they were then, if not more so, thanks to the evolution of technology. Yet, some recommendations he and others posited are extremely outdated destined to fail in the modern day. Vanu is based upon reality, not legality, and therefore it will develop according to the external factors of the present time. Freedom is not free. It takes time, effort, money, an extreme amount of dedication, and a willingness to make sacrifices. It requires the willingness and ability to create, develop, and to problem solve, as we are the self-liberators of the 21st century pioneering the path forward to a freer future. It is not for everybody, and neither is Vanu. There is no better way to end this book than with these wise, timeless words from our friend and posthumous mentor, Rayo. A Vanuan, to me, is not just someone living in a particular manner. Lifestyles may change. A lifestyle which was Vanu 100 years ago may not be Vanu today. Some lifestyles Vanu today were not possible 100 years ago and may not be Vanu 50 years from now. A Vanuan is someone who places a high value on relative invulnerability to coercion. Someone for whom freedom is worth a fair amount, though not infinite, of effort, inconvenience, and discomfort. To a Vanuan, Vanu is not just a means to an end, nor is it the ultimate end. Like most qualities of life and life itself, it is both. A Vanuan will choose whatever way of living offers personal sovereignty and will change lifestyle again and again if necessary. Your free future is closer than you think.